Boom. <laughs> hey, it was good, brother. Oh, I'm about to beat you to the motherfucking punch like a good hooker. Yes, what's good, everybody? Couple of shout outs to do. You know what time it is. Shout out to my members. New member here and a member that I'm shouting out yesterday, but I want to re shout him out because I think I, spe I think I pronounced his name wrong. So shout out to Richard Hamilton and Rigsby Stevens. Shout out to Richard Hamilton and Rigsby Stevens. Check this out because it's not doing all other than distracting me. The window, the transfer window, not my window. We're over window gate, we're over blind gate. We've got a light up in the back that we need to sort the fuzz out. Yes, 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 the transfer window has arrived. So you know what time it is. Get that badger in and on and over here. We're all over the place, but we rub our hands together. We do it a little bit on the lake. There ain't nobody down round here. The badger's in, the badger's on, the badger's over. The window's open. Stop texting me. It's the same person. Yeah, it's not that. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Now I'm getting all oh, my days. Your boy's popular. Your boy's winning. We are getting linked with a lot of defenders, so I don't know what's going on with my man Rodon, but um, we've been linked with Oliver Skip, who is sort of a defensive midfielder, but he's a little bit like um, Ampadu and Postacoglu has been good. He plays for Tottenham, 23-year-old young lad, and uh, Postacoglu has been discussing the fact that he's extremely versatile, so it might be, I think it'd be a pretty mint sign, and he played a fair bit for him last year. Only a young lad. Uh, it won't happen, but it's a good link and the transfer window's open, so we're going, boy, there ain't nobody down round here. Southampton are making crazy moves since they've gone up. Crazy moves. They've re-signed Adam Lallana. Ambition. Ambition seething through the club. Who do we think we're actually going to lose? Somerville, Nonto, Gray. So I think there's a chance we're going to keep holding on to I can't help it. I think we're definitely going to hold it onto Gray. I think we'll uh, lose him in a couple of years, even much to everybody's dismay. I think there'll be a... He'll be out of his forever! forever! But Somerville is the man that'll definitely go and he'll go first. What we're saying on Charlie Cresswell, there's been a lot of talk about him in general. Uh, Matteo Joseph will be in the Olympics for Espanyol. Uh, I saw a joke on Twitter today that literally nearly had me falling over because I thought somebody put, oh, he might miss the start of the season due to the Olympics, but they put uh, due to Love Island. And I thought with all the stuff that had sort of gone on with him not getting his minutes when people thought he deserved his minutes, which he probably did deserve his minutes, I did think, I thought, if he's going on Love Island, that is what it is, isn't it? That is where he's going wrong, it's lad. And then, and then... We hit this. It's got, I've got that Friday feeling, so it's super quick shit vid, this and Klopp has been linked to be Leeds United's man, next man after Daniel, after Mr. Facky Facky Fucker. Now, I'm only joking, but apparently Red Bull have approached him to be like the head of soccer, which is their head of global soccer, which is an insane thought, really. So this might be where football's going. So obviously they own a lot of clubs and they will eventually, I do believe, own us, depending on what the 49ers want to do, or they'll certainly keep it advancing the stake and ramming that big steak knife in and chopping that real lumptuous wagyu up. Um, it would, basically, uh, I think Julia had a similar job, so they basically just work closely with each Red Bull club and they must come up with like a, a global strategy for them. It's a wild job, really, when you think about it, but as sort of, as companies like the 49ers, my guys and Red Bull and stuff, as they take more and more football clubs together, they're going to need people to run the day in, day out of each other and have like a global plan. Crazy thing to thought. Crazy thing to have thunk. Crazy thing to have thought. Klopp's absolutely rubbish, the report, and so has nah, Red Bull. 19th of July. Help me track out soon. As soon as I get the link for the pre-download, I'm going to be badgering you bigger than this boy. Boom. Surprises why I asked no